single pass parallel processing sp3 architecture it creates lot of confusion someone saying palo alto architecture is single pass parallel processing or someone saying it's sp3 architecture then what is different between single pass parallel processing and sp3 so there is nothing different friends why why we say sp3 because it has triple p okay see in a diagram first p okay second p and third p that's why we are saying that sp3 architecture single pass parallel processing architecture okay so i hope you understand what i am trying to explain here okay so there is nothing uh, but so the when you are going for interview my second point is when you are going for an interview so interviewer will definitely ask what is sp3 architecture because you are going for palo alto interview okay and sp3 is like a big question in, in mostly every interview uh, interviewer asking this question okay so when you are going for an interview interviewer will definitely ask what is sp3 architecture and some people start explaining about the packet flow which is ex extremely wrong actually okay so interviewer not asking about the packet flow then why some people explaining he is asking about the sp3 which is single pass parallel processing okay interviewer has only the 30 minute around okay so finish your answer in two or three minutes or if interviewer ask in a detail then you explain and your discussion becomes more healthy i hope you i hope you got my find okay so you have to talk about data plane and control plan only okay which is we will discuss in this video completely so hi all welcome to my channel i am jitendra i have eight years of experience in network security plus endpoint security technical consultant cyber security setup extra i will upload more video related to the palo alto and our and other technical videos also if you not subscribe my channel so please subscribe the channel and like the video also hit the bell icon so whenever i upload the video you will get notified this video is only for the education purpose who want to make career in cyber security field or a network security field our intent uh, will not be disclose disclose any sensitive information about the product and the company we will show only the information available publicly in a website or if you have any questions teams friends you can ask me i will be happy to resolve that Okay, so without wasting a time, let's get started to the clear it out. Okay, so now we will discuss about the single pass parallel processing SP3 architecture, which is what is exactly. Okay, so see, first we will understand what is the single pass and then we will understand about the parallel processing. So in a single pass, to understand the single pass, we need to understand what is the multi-pass architecture first. Okay, so what's happening in multi-pass architecture like some legacy firewall using this architecture. Okay, so what's happening in multi-pass architecture? Suppose once the once the firewall hit on the interfaces, okay, uh, like L2 interface, L3 interface. Okay, so why we are saying that the L2 or L3 interfaces because there is a legacy firewall and once the packet like any packet first hit on the interfaces. Okay, this is the interface firewall like we can see here, but the Palo Alto firewall is zone based firewall Okay, every packet hit on the zone, but in legacy firewall the packet hit on the interfaces. So once the packet hit on the interface, okay, in other I'm talking about the other firewall, which is using the legacy architecture or multipass architecture. Okay, so so when the packet hit on the interfaces, suppose the first they will check the policy. Right, they will check like the firewall policy, like whatever the policy you set, like this uh, source source zone, uh, uh, this is the source IP, this is the destination IP address, so this is the services. Whatever the rule you set, the first they will check and then the packet close and send to the next module, right? And then your packet again opening and it's checking the like URL filtering, they will check and again the packet close and it will send to the next module, okay? And then they will check like IPS policy again checking. Then after the checking the IPS policy, your packet close and it's go to the next module and antivirus policy will check in. So you tell me guys, if your packet continuously opening and closing, then then opening and then closing by the other module. So there is lot of the delay happening. Okay, so so solution. What is the solution of this? This that's why the Palo Alto comes with the single pass terms. 
like single pass so in a single pass what happening once the packet go from the firewall okay once the packet hit on the interfaces okay so during the inspection every engine work together it's not happening like a pending a pies the engine checking then it close and again go to the user id again go to the content id this is net net opening okay not opening in this condition every once the packet like uh, hit on the zones every engine start working together and checking the every process like multiple people working in a single time like so when the packet go in the firewall so every engine work together checking inspecting and the packet is closed it's not like happening packet opening and closing happening and closing okay these things is not happening so that's why we are saying that this is the single pass architecture okay single pass architecture we are saying and why the like how the palo alto is able to do these things because palo alto has the control plane and data plane okay separate things and it has the separate like dedicated ram and processing also also okay you can see the parallel processing so the single pass uh like single pass parallel processing this uh uh this things palo alto firewall able to conf able to handle the traffic because it has the control plane and data plane okay and it has the separate ram like the management the control plane having the separate dedicated ram and processing and the, under the data plane again we have the three module first comes in networking security and content to so heat he is it has also again the separate module text like dedicated ram and processor so we can uh, like what is the advantage of it as the palo alto or uh, company is claiming that key what what happening suppose attacker come into your network okay and they they try to do the ddos attack they try to any kind of the damage in your firewall so what's happening in other firewall suppose uh, the attacker go, like uh, your network got the ddos attack right so in this condition your complete firewall goes down and you unable to access the gui also okay so if you are not able to access the gui in other firewalls so what you will do you will uh, like restart your firewall okay and once you restart all the logging will erase but in palo alto not happening this kind of the things so why need happening because uh, not happening because it has the dedicated plan okay so what happening in the management plane every reporting fee features available okay you can uh, whatever the login gui access co comes under this control plan okay so once the attack attack got so example if the attacker like hang your uh, data plan so what if you, you can do you can log in and you can access your gui via the control plan and you can see see in a live environment like from where the traffic is coming like uh, you can see like this is the malicious traffic is coming from this country or this this ip address and this is the source ip address so what you can do you can write the uh, policy in a live environment or you can block the traffic okay so this kind of the advantage you will get right so i hope you clear think you clear all the doubt i think in this video okay so i will just show you uh, this is the packet flow diagram also available but i will not discuss on this i will make the separate video on this so in this small video i just want to explain you what is the spc architecture in a in a short terms i will not take your much time friends okay so i hope you like this video so please like my video friends one more thing i want to explain here this is the publicly information available on the palo alto website so uh, single pass parallel processing okay so what they are saying officially to so palo alto network next generation firewall are based on the unique single parallel single pass parallel processing architecture which enable high throughput low latency and network security also so every company every organization want high throughput low latency and the network security right so this three thing is cover in a single box box okay palo alto next generation firewall okay low latency and low latency why this is low latency is possible because it follow the sp3 architecture network security because we have the lot of the profile like antivirus policy we can attach with the traffic we can attach the vulnerability profile we can attach the wildfire which is the sandbox solution we can see here okay file blocking lot of the security features also available okay so we can secure our infrastructure by any kind of the attack okay low latency is possible okay throughput also coming okay so they are claiming that so this is the mention officially also you can download the data data sheet also 
right Trim? one more thing i want to explain you so team this is the very informative information for you regarding the palo alto spc architecture or we can see the control plane and data plane okay i will give you this link also in a video description so pa like see there is hardware architecture also suppose when you click on the hardware hardware architecture so every detail will open here right okay? suppose like the ps 7000 series PA 500, 5400 series, PA 34,000 series, okay? So suppose I want to know the information about this PA uh, 3400 series firewall, okay? What the control plan and data plan happening or cover in this module. So I click on this. So here you can see the complete picture. This is the model number. And you can also download the data sheet. And this is the managed plan actually, okay? So what things cover under the management plan? This is the control plan. You can see the all the configuration related data happening. Okay. All the logging related and the reporting related also information cover in this. Okay. And this is you can see the, the PA a different, different uh, minor model number also available. So suppose in this PA 3410, there is a, like how many CPUs, like three CPU of the 12 cores okay what is the storage ha management ports okay available and this is the data plane available also in data planes what they cover app id user id url match policy matches okay everything is uh, like matching this information okay so my next video if you are request me to explain about the uh, complete information about the packet flow then i will create the separate video for for you okay team so i hope you like this video so please subscribe my channel and support me Okay, so thank you team. Thank you very much for watch watching my video.